Hello, everyone. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Lean Media, publisher on the leanmedia.org blog, which has lots of information about Amazon and other selling services. Today, I'm going to be talking about Amazon promotions and how to create a product selection. And if you have an Amazon seller account, a pro seller account, you've probably started using the different promotional tools that they have available to you. Here's an example of the uh, screen to create a, pr a promotion for percentage off. And when you come to this screen, the first thing you need to do is basically select the item that you want to have um, available in the promotion. You, you click this, this uh, button here. And the first time you come here, you might not see anything here, or you'll see this weird code like VPC product cell dash one and a, and a bunch of numbers. And you don't even know what product that is. What it is actually is Amazon automatically assigned a code to something when you created a promotion before. So the first time I came to the screen, I was just, I didn't know what was going on because I couldn't find the products that I was selling. I have a whole bunch of products, but I didn't see them listed here. I only saw these weird codes. What you need to do before you start creating promotions is to create a new product selection. You get to it from the same screen. It says create a new product selection. So when you click on that, it'll take you to this screen and uh, the create product selection screen. First thing that it does, this drop down here, is you have to select the how you want to create the product uh, selection. You can use your uh, stock keeping unit, the SKU, your ASIN, that's the Amazon ID number. Uh, many people know what it is because they, they, they have a database or they have a list somewhere that has all the ASINs and SKUs. Or you can do, use the brand name list. So, um, for instance, if you wanted just to create a list of all the items in a certain brand you have, you could use that. What I find myself usually doing is using the ASIN list. Because the ASINs, I can easily find them. Just go to Amazon.com and I can look on the product page and get them there. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to select ASIN list, create product selection. Okay, you're presented with this particular screen. Product selection name tracking ID. So they give you an example, Blue Shoes 08. Um, you can do something else for that. And basically what I'm going to do is I have a um, orange, purple, and blue. These are products that I sell. The packaging is orange, purple, and blue. So I'm going to call it um, orange. I'm going to paste that in and just get rid of these commas. Orange, purple, and blue. Or, and, or just orange, purple, blue. That's my, tra that's my tracking ID. And by the way, this ID will show up sometimes at the end of a campaign URL or in other types of uh, database formats. So it's not something that most customers will see or pay attention to, but it's maybe just for your reference. You can use a number or something like that, but I like to use something that I will recognize. Like, so when I see orange, purple, blue, I, I know right away that's the packaging for some of the products I sell. Internal description. This description is for the product list will not be displayed to customers. So I'm going to say orange, purple, and blue um, products in the Easy Genie category. Okay. ASIN list. Add up to 4,000 individual ASINs to this list by typing them in or cutting and pasting them. <laughs> All right. Can you imagine typing in 4,000 ASINs? You know, you'd go crazy. So what I've done is I've actually prepared a list of ASINs. Here they are right there. I'm going to copy that from a text pad and just paste them right in, one per line. So these codes may not look like anything, but actually, if, if you go to Amazon and search on it, so let's do that right now. I'm going to search on one of those ASINs. Yeah, this is the product right here. So the orange one, and then there's, here's the blue one. So these ASINs correspond to that. So I'm just going to put three of them there, and then I'm going to submit it. And so the great thing is, um, you can't see it's not at the top right here, but you can see some of the other some of the other um, product section I've created before: single fan chart, single pedigree chart. Here are those weird um, automated automated um, tracking IDs created by Amazon itself. And I think if you go to the next page of all my yeah, here we go. So somewhere yeah, here it is: orange, purple, blue. That's that's the that's the product selection I just created. And the great thing about it is. When I go back to Amazon seller to create a promotion, like a percentage off or buy one, get one free type of thing, I can just select right from this list here, including this one. So if I want to sell these three products at the same time or have them all, all have them all have the same promotion, I can just do it this way. 
and if I wanted to, I could do it for single products. You, you can see that, or I can do it for um, a whole bunch of products. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon, how to get the most out of the media you create, check out leanmedia.org. My book's available there, but also if you go to blog, you'll see a whole bunch of blog posts about this stuff using Amazon, um, you know, for books or for other types of products you're selling, and also just general information about using media. And then my uh, YouTube channel, click on video on leanmedia.org. It's on the right, click on that. I have dozens of videos there that can help you uh, scale up your Amazon business. And uh, the YouTube videos are free. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again on YouTube or at leanmedia.org. Thank you.